What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to show you guys what I think is one of the best red zone passing plays in the game. I am in the Carolina Panthers playbook Gun Trio Panther and the play is called Slot Out. Now on the right side of the screen you can see a list of playbooks that have this play and really the route that makes this play go is that tight end route by Jason Witten. And so the way I like to set this up is I go ahead and max protect to just go ahead and block my running back. And then I put my inside slot receiver, Des Bryant in this case, on an in route. Now, first things first, I'm going to show this play against a cover three style of defense. Uh, cover three is just kind of a popular defense for people to run in the red zone. It just provides good coverage, decent run support, and a lot of people think that the middle of the field is going to be clogged up uh, because the field is so much shortened, they think that middle safety is really going to play everything. But in this case, you're going to see that's not the case. And so I have Harrison Smith there, a 91 and above zone coverage defender. So this is going to carry over into mud as well. And so what you're going to see, snap the ball here. And what happens is, notice how Witten ends up getting wide open. I go with a high point pass and go with the aggressive catch and right there uh, it was actually pretty rare for even that outside cornerback to even be in the play but what you're gonna see in this cover three is a lot of people with their user defender they're gonna use her very aggressively so they're either going to be using this underneath in route by Des Bryant or they're gonna use her this little hitch route by Terrence Williams that's gonna be the two routes that draw your opponent's user uh, attention and so what they expect is that this middle safety here Harrison Smith is gonna be able to play the back of the end zone but what happens is he gets occupied by this in route by the inside slot receiver Des Bryant as you can see he overruns and so that's when you want to throw this pass you can see as soon as I throw it the 91 zone reacts uh, but you want to throw this pass as soon as he starts passing behind this safety and even with the 91 zone coverage he's not able to recover and shift his momentum in time see how he has to stop Witten has all of this wide open space the underneath defender is occupied by the little hitch route and that opens up Jason Witten in the back of the end zone for a nice high point pass literally every single time. Uh, it, it, it's very consistent against a lot of different zones, but it's very good against cover three, as you can see right there. That's going to happen every single time against cover three. Now, right here, I'll go ahead and show you against Tampa two. And I'll go ahead, same setup. And I know a lot of people drop their middle linebacker back into a deep third in Tampa two. But in the red zone, people typically don't do that because they don't think they have to worry about getting beat you know deep over the middle since you're at the seven yard line or whatever uh, so most people if they do run a Tampa 2 they're either going to be blitzing or they're just gonna kinda leave it stock and and you know user the middle with their user a uh, defender and, and try to take that away and so right here what you're gonna see is same thing he gets even more wide open over the middle right there uh, the middle linebacker in the mid read is not going to drop back and once again he gets distracted by the underneath in route by Des Bryant and so against the Tampa 2 defense, if you notice your opponent's running that in the red zone, this is going to be money literally every single time. So right here against cover 4, you're going to notice that this is the defense that can kind of give this play problems. Uh, that Jason Witten route is just not really going to get open as well right there. The strong safety just plays it better. And if you notice, he can just get caught up on that safety when he tries to cut over the middle of the field. And so what I like to do is if I notice my opponent's been running cover 4 or if I notice cover 4 post snap, is take advantage of the little scrambling lane that's going to open up right here on the left side there. And so uh, what happens is I'll show you an instant replay, but the in route by Des Bryant ends up occupying that three receiver hook over the middle. In this case, it's Anthony Barr. Since it's cover four, there's only one guy over the middle here. So he gets occupied and pulled to the right by Des Bryant. And then this little hitch route by Terrence Williams comes in and fills in. And as soon as you scramble, he turns into like a lead blocker. So you have Des pulling Barr over the middle to the opposite side. And then you have Williams to come in as a lead blocker to block Harrison Smith. And so that's exactly what you really want to see if you see cover four post snap. That's kind of the read that I like to go to because like you saw, the A route not as consistent as it is against something like a cover two or a cover three. So just keep that in mind. But cover two, cover three, that Jason Witten route is going to be open literally every single time. And then cover four. You have a nice little, it's basically like a check down scrambling lane. So that's pretty much it for this play, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it ends up helping you out. As always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take it easy.